learned that you had to be in acapella in order to be in chambers. Yeah, it was a requirement that wasn't a requirement, but I guess it would make sense because we needed the help anyway. No, we don't. I'll give you a limited amount of time to get around oh, the track. This is probably going to take Joe 40 minutes instead of 20. Well, in my test flight through, I actually did the ring challenge in one try because I knew I didn't want to have any more frustration because when we first played this a year ago at 3 a.m., yeah, the ring challenge, I did not take my time and I just fucked up royally so much. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I repeat history or not. I do like hearing that nice uh, fiddle, though. The fiddle, the fiddle is glorious. Anyway. Yeah. I think the only people I talked to from high school are the people that I had band or choir with. Yeah. I was in uh, I was in jazz band with Gus and Quaid. And uh, I was in choir with, uh, with Joe and Nick. Yeah, and I... Yeah, and I, 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 um, I realized I only had like maybe I talked to only maybe three seniors. So it was you, Jasmine, and Julian, and then and Mickey. Yeah, and Mickey, yeah. So far, which I never knew I would be friends with him. I, I thought I wouldn't like him because he's a jock, but he actually he is like, Joe, you're cool. Let's hang out. And I hung out with uh, him, Hannah Spellmeyer, and uh, Olivia at the Target, and we just got into shenanigans. And I experienced for the first time being being out with friends without like any any like when are you gonna come home I was just like I mean after I, that's cause I didn't get my license till after high school now I'm like always out but it, it just it felt different um yeah that part too and then, then when I worked for fucking Kirby um I still was friends with people that were still going to choir cause you know Nick and them were two years apart Kyle was one year so it was Hannah and and, uh, who else? Still talk to them to this day, so. I know what I mean. Those uh, are the close ones, I mean. Was Hannah Spellmeyer that I seen? Yeah, she was our age. She's, you know, she's fucking uh, opening Chick fil A's everywhere. What? Yeah, she's, she's like a, I don't know about assistant manager, but she literally, like, travels to different Chick fil A's all over the place. She used to work at the one and near to have it, fucking around. Barely mean kid. That's nothing compared to the next one. Um, goofy we trust. Most things are required. What about the, like the trips we went on, like the towns that we drove? I mean, I know Highland doesn't really count, but like we went to Victor Valley. Yes, we did go to Victor Valley. It was it Victorville? No, we went to Victor Valley College. Victorville College? No. Victor Valley College and well, I know Victorville's a thing, but I never always get them mixed up because they're both in the same area. They're in their east. Yeah, Victor Valley College. Yeah. I, my favorite moment is when um, you know who made the same joke about my voice every single morning. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't need to name names. I mean, I've already been named names all the time, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I do. So um. It was funny because people would uh it would laugh because you know I have an abnormal voice. But um, what happened was is every morning he would say, um, what the fuck was even the joke? I think I've tuned it out so much I forgot what he even said. Um, he said like uh like oh my god is that is that your soprano note or um no oh, here comes Joe the soprano. I don't even know. He's I don't in my health class though. I don't remember. He goes to ABC. I don't know. Yeah. Works out lows. Did he graduate? He did. Oh. Because I, I remember he just kind of disappeared for a little bit. Because he, he set a trash can on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Good times. <laughs> but see, Fold Eddie was see, mad. See, uh, that was the main reason I joined choir. I wanted, to, <laughs> wanted the chaos. The That's what I that, wanted too. When I my mentality joining choir was I want to have fun, yeah. and I know that people have fun here, because because I have friends, even pain. Yeah, but it, it was painful at times because people really couldn't sing. Yeah. Oh, dude, Valentine Grams, those were the best. Love me, do. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Love me, do. 
<laughs> I never really did solos, though. I, I still had a weird thing about it, which is stupid because... Oh, shit. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Because, oh, what a beautiful day. <laughs> um, ever since kindergarten, I did the talent show solos for about nine years, so... But, um... I did a few solos. I um, took up, like, half of Cabaret, but I just did a few solos. Until second Cabaret rolled around where you got hired at McDonald's. Second Cabaret? There wasn't a second Cabaret. There was. No, excuse me, not second Cabaret. Um, uh, musical Review. Second Musical Review, yeah. You, 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 you had a lot planned, but then you got hired and you had to work, like, every day. I did, and I was on a probation period, so I couldn't call out. It sucked. Yeah, that really did suck, because I prepared with Julian to do this, like, really hard, uh, really hard uh, song. And I, was, I, I learned all the lyrics, and I was really excited to do it. But then I saw my work schedule that I was, I was scheduled for that day, so I couldn't do it. Yeah. And then I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna do singing in the rain, footloose. Then I just had to bail on everyone. It was kind of sucked. Yeah, I just had the last minute. Yeah. You know, everything's like everything's okay. Not necessarily the destination that mattered. It's more like the journey on the way that matters as well. Yeah. Definitely had way more good times than bad. Yeah, I almost did the solo to be able to be the. <laughs> Once I got a job, that literally became my life. Yeah. For a while, for two years, I, I worked at McDonald's, and that's all I did besides go to school. Yeah, I didn't go to school immediately, but yeah, I did get a job, but it wasn't really a job. Yeah, Joe worked at Kirby. It was commissioned, and you know, and it was almost illegal because even if I was eighteen. 15 hour shifts, 6 days a week was, like, unheard of. And I'm, um, and then I got hired at Six Flags, and honestly, even if Six Flags is bad, hold on, wait, I fucking hate this part, <laughs> um, Six Flags maybe, may suck, at least I got paid, because, holy shit, Kirby was a low point for me. Yeah, I'm actually considering going to Six Flags or going back to McDonald's, but I, I That's don't good. know. Uh, well, I mean... I don't know, Joe and I could probably go work at Six Flags for the summer and actually have a good time together. Uh, I don't know if I want to go, well, I don't even know if I'm able to go back. Was that the ring challenge? Yeah, what? Well, first time. I think I'm able to go back because, you got well, no, it has been two years. You got terminated. Yeah. Just for being late too much, but that, but I lasted almost a whole year, so. It's just, yeah, it, if I lived closer, it probably would have worked out better, but no. This is a man The man the fuck? <laughs> but then, um, other than Six Flags, and all well, the conspiracies that happened there with, uh, me getting audited, even though I started counting my money, and I thought I was onto something, um, it didn't really matter, because why, while I got moved out of the food department and into the entertainment department, um, I had around, like, 20, 20 to 30,000 subscribers. So. Yeah. Got lucky. Yeah. I it's learned, kinda... I learned more that I suck at, you know, boring shit. That's just my ADD and creativity. And uh, at the end of the day, I guess it just worked itself out, and I learned I learned my lesson. Very true. I mean, uh, after after I left McDonald's, I, I thought that being a tutor would better suit me. It just depends on how many people you can get to hire. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't asked to come back, so in other words, I was fired. But I, it, I think it's because I like I did an inadequate job of tutoring them. But that's because like oh, these kids, these kids were very hard to work with. What were you tutoring them in? I was tutoring them in ELA and math. In order to fuck up. <laughs> Thank wow. God that doesn't stop me. <laughs> you only had to do the ring challenge once. You know, yeah. Like, I was, I was like sidetrack focused. Whatever that means. Yeah. Anyway, jobs suck. I really hate mine. And I'm, not, I'm about to be jobless again. So, if y'all hiring, let me know. Do they, they don't have any programs or, like, stuff that you can do or work at at CSUN? No, I could do that. I just need to start doing that once it's August. Is that what Karen's gonna do? Yeah. So, I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe during the summer I'll just try to work at Six Flags or something. And I know it'll be hot, but... What's this? Beating your own time? Yeah, we don't need to do that. <laughs> uh, Can you clean your lines? Uh, Fuck that.
this goddamn level. The frame rate goes to shit on this level. Only if I'm playing the PS2, though. And, like, there's glitches where Mindy, you can hear Mindy talking in the level. But I guess this PS3 kind of helps with that. Yeah. Hmm. What other things are they talking about? Um, music. I was going to be a singer, but then I decided to become a pianist. Like a song, a songwriter singer, or just like a classical or. Um, what did I want? I wanted to be a choir teacher. Actually, I wanted to be like Foley. Oh yeah. But it just didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> so now you want to be a. Well, I mean, did you say you also wanted to write music and compositions and compose, right? Yeah, for sure. For like movies or video games, that could be the life. Yeah, that's that's like the end goal. But what what I what I have in plan right now is just to become um, you know, like an accompanist for churches and stuff. Yeah, that's like the day job. I mean, what I what I have like a true passion for is songwriting. Yeah, it, it always has been. I love singing songs. Like in high school, that's all I that's all I did. I just sang "This Is Gospel" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Houdini. Houdini, oh my god. This is Gospel and Houdini were my songs. <laughs> like, every time people saw me, they'd be like, If you love me, let me go. It was funny, is that we, didn't we, like, get obsessed with that song when, like, Martine was singing it? <laughs> he, like, sang it once, and I'm like, What song is that? And then I look it up, and I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> the funny thing is that I knew about that song before, but I thought it was just okay. Yeah, I know. And, and then, then I, I kind of, like, started listening to it. And yeah. I liked Avery. <laughs> like, I, I, heard it, I heard it on the radio. Yeah. But then this, it was just kind of like whatever, so... Yeah. I don't know. And then Houdini, I completely know my own. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after Martin sang it, I was like, I actually kind of like this one. And Reptilia, you guys played on the... <laughs> which I don't know if I saw the video of. Dun, 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 dun. Did you actually take videos of that? I took it off a of Snapchat, I just don't know if it... If I kept it, because my computer got fucked up a couple years ago. And I wish we had memories still. Memories did not come out for Snapchat till July. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. At that cabaret, Joe did a uh, Pentatonix cover. Yeah, yeah, with, uh, I just wish the mics worked on it. But. Oh my god, dude. Right when, like, I was doing this really heartfelt song um, called Homesick. It's about it's about a guy who um, who loses his wife. Yeah, and, uh, and she she was at home while he was on tour, and he's just homesick and he meet, and he's missing his wife, and my my fucking mic cut out completely. Were you able to project? Yeah. Okay. That's all I had to do. I mean, it, it's still kind of hard to do because of the fucking we did in the little gym. Oh yeah, it was in the small gym. Ours was still better, though. I'll just say that much. <laughs> Our cabaret? Oh, yeah. then the free Yeah. It, it, but, you know, that, that's more the production value and the people. Only certain people are really good, then. Yeah. Moving too loud. Fucking moving. Um, I remember at cabaret, I did a song with my ex. And it was very, very awkward. Oh, yeah. I was surprised you guys were even doing that. It was like you guys were frenemies? <laughs> we just... Acquaintances? Yeah. Well, before I went to the shithole that is Kirby, I did um, do backstage. I, I did. I would want to audition for uh, Sweeney Todd, but my parents wanted me to get a job, so um, I just did backstage work. But it was a lot of fun because I got to spray water on the window and be the blood. Well, Ellie and Amanda put a red light to make it look like actual blood, and then I make sure people go down the trap door. <laughs> so and they fall on the pillows. Yeah. We're just breezing through these. Yeah. We're not kids anymore. <laughs> just that re-challenge and uh, Shell City kicked your ass. Yeah. We're gonna get sand kicked in our face at the beach. 
Time for that macho challenge. It's fine, because I know the shortcut. That's fine. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so, I, it's still, is that a joke that the eyes are lowercase? <laughs> Except for the what? Oh. I get it. Except for the bitch. So, uh, they're referencing uh, David Hasselhoff, but they can't say his name. No. Copyright. <laughs> Copy fucking rights. Nickelodeon couldn't give him the money to say that. I mean, it is a clever way to hide it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh god, the frame rate. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, really. That hurts. That was a PowerPoint. Uh, other things about work in high school and shit. I got my first job at McDonald's when I was 17, I think. Yeah. No, I was 18. I was 18. Cause it was, you say you lied. It, it yeah. It's still slow. Is holding up really speed me up? Yes, it does. I just, I just can't. It's not visually, like... Dang. I don't know. I probably would have made it if I didn't get hit there, because, you know, damage... Yeah, Patrick, looking good, man. I didn't get my first car until uh, second semester of college. Oh, you buy your own? How much was that? Two thousand dollars. Damn. It broke. <laughs> what year was it? Two thousand four. Huh. Was it two thousand three? What type of car was it? Um, uh, Hyundai Elantra. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck. Why did it break so easily? It broke so easily because um, it shift. wasn't taken care of. It's a stick shift. Oh, the last person I had it. Yeah. Where'd you get it from? I got it from this dude in Northridge. Yeah. I asked him all these questions like, "Oh, you know, do you know if the if the clutch was replaced? You know, like anything about the radiator? Like, yeah, everything's uh, up to date. Everything's replaced within a year or two ago." And I was like, "All right, fine. That's great." And then the clutch broke out on me. And that's, that's like a blatant lie to my face. And clutches cost a thousand dollars, so I wasn't about to get that fixed. You probably changed his number, huh? He did. But... <sighs> well, I guess the next time you ever need a new car, you can go to CarMax. No. <laughs> or just save up for a brand new one that loses value of the lot, but eh, I don't know. No, what I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm paying off this car. Yeah. And it's in pretty good condition, so. Same one as my dad. Only my, my dad can't. My dad can't um, drive his anymore. His license is suspended because he didn't think he would remember to uh, retake the test. So, honestly, that car. My mom was thinking of maybe me learning stick shift. Just. I honestly thought it was kind of redundant. I mean, I do want to learn stick shift. I'm just saying, in terms of just using that car. I think she was concerned just because of my car would keep breaking down, but I, I have small things that break down. It, it, my alternator was the only big thing that happened that needed to be fixed a long time ago. Yeah, the only thing that I had was um, transmission leak. Yeah. But I fixed that with financial aid money. We need to take an L on this one too. I don't know. There's probably another shortcut I'm missing. I was quicker. Well, I might just make it. Watch you fall. I think I'll make it. Eee, don't jump or anything. There we go. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I guess my goal now is to start going to auditions, move out, get an apartment, make sure I have my, my roommates, and, and start your career. And save fucking money. I've gone through cool. a couple changes in the last couple of months to uh, help with that, so now it's just time to execute it properly. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to move out pretty soon as well. Obviously, I need to get a job first, but that won't be hard. I yeah. just I just need to apply myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I applied to ten jobs the other day, and I got denied by five, but that's fine. So we only have... um. Oxalate. Like six tokens left to do, okay. so I can at least try to do rock slide. But if I fuck up, I don't really want to waste the time. Then we can, we can the beat the game. I could just insert the hundred percent ending thing. Hundred <laughs> percent. What is it? It's just a shitty cartoon or whatever. It's uh, animated like cutscene. 
like like drawn out? No, no, it's like it's with this game's graphics. Um, I don't remember the all the whole context, but I can show you later. It's just. Eh. I tried to I tried to beat the Macho Time before and it's really hard. A hundred percent it for the trophy when this game gets remastered. Because <coughs> at least I'll actually have a record of it online. My trophy my trophy level right now is level eight, so that's that. Yeah. I was close to platinum getting a platinum trophy in LA Noir, but that requires getting all the fifty gold reels and that requires a guide because the the world LA is huge in that game. Well, it's huge in real life. Yeah. But one of my favorite games, one of my favorite games of all time, probably. So I'll do it for the channel eventually. That's good, I still haven't seen it. I want to do Shadow Colossus very badly. After I an Eddie? I don't know. Maybe, because the other one's got... What was your, what was your other option? Uh, Transformers. Oh, Transformers, yeah. Oh, well, Ed and Eddie won the poll. So. Uh, Transformers and Metroid Prime. Oh yeah, yeah, you had four choices. I forgot. And wasn't Shadow Colossus number two? No, I didn't. I didn't put it on the poll. Oh okay. But I do want to play Shadow Colossus. I still haven't beaten it yet, but I will. What type of game is it? Is like just hack and slash or? Uh, beat em up. Man. Kind of. There's no way to really, like, um, there's no way to describe it. You just kind of watch it. Is it like Attack on Titan where you beat big, you know, things? Yeah. Okay. You so climb like, on it. It's like a platformer. So it's probably meets... hack and slash beat em up platformer mix. Not a beat em up, no. Because you have to be very strategic with how you strike the, the Titans. Because if you just keep hitting them, they die, like, very slowly. It and sounds it sounds like a strategic hack and slash, then. So, like, not not like God of yes. War, but, like, a little more complicated. Yeah. I forgot, I forgot the new God of War came out. Yeah. Essentially. Which, you know, it, it's treated like it's a reboot, but he's got a son, so is it a sequel? That's, I don't know why. I mean, I get why they're, they just call it God of War, because they want to rebrand it, but... Apparently he has a, he has a few children. Well, he he used to Fuck have dudes. regular <laughs> regular children, but I think that's Nick's next pick. But we'll see what happens next. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's at Disneyland today. Yeah, give him a chaperone. Yeah. I had to be 21 to be a shot, bro. I think he just went to go. <laughs> Shows up. To make it? I doubt it, because the, there's so many pathways, and obviously I could easily get this token on a guide, but I just want to get a move on, so I'll just... If I don't make it, I don't make it. Big book. Yeah, I have 20 seconds left. Jeez. Say we just go to the knuckleheads and just <laughs> Actually, stage. Yeah, I only had uh, six more to go, but we'll just we'll we'll 99% this game and drive people crazy. <laughs>